me money, they read up the audio And if you ever hear the clock, you're up like a woman When you see me, every boat, you look on your Welcome people, you don't know it's your girl Ivani Sensation and I'm here about my prison vlog a video that you've been asking me for like every second, every hour, every minute and I promise you guys I would give you this vlog video so remember to like, subscribe and share my video feel free to leave a comment below and follow me on Instagram and may I do the vlog video without no makeup, without no I'm just do it all of perfection. So stay tuned. Hope you like the video. Hope it motivates someone if you're not getting yourself in a trouble, if you're not getting a prison. Yes. Give me you everything I can wait. Give me you a hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. It's me. Falmouth police station 
and that I have charges, one of them I didn't go to court, whatever, whatever, they have to bring me in custody, whatever, whatever, whatever. Guys, when we see the police, before them even interviewed themselves, I know they were cops. They didn't just know so they were police, right? And I'm not gonna really, I, I think before I start my video, I'm not gonna really talk much, I'm not gonna speak proper English in this video because the video is gonna mean a lot to me and I just want to express my feelings so I just have a talk and raw password to just get out everything the right way. You see me? Yes, so um, when them come for me, me the know tell me at the iris already because at the end of the day, in November, in late November, I had a breakup and the breakup there, they delete my chip like, after that breakup there, me, ne me just never have a care in the world, you know them way there, I not for what I go say, me not go make because a man make me get catch, or me not go make because a man make me not go court and then something about as I say, you can't have a person feel until you're in, a, until you're in a the person um, shoes, as I should say. So, I didn't want to break up, just had a break up, and maybe I go through a lot mentally, physically, emotionally. Maybe I go through a lot of stress, maybe depressed, when I feel like I just me alone in the world, I just feel lost. I just feel empty, I feel hopeless, I just feel like my life ends, I just feel like I don't have nothing, I don't have to live for. I'm just telling you how I feel because I really like, really, really love the person. You know, I had a breakup and then I know some of have court for God. I say, you know what? Now I'm going to court. I just go right out and I enjoy my birthday. The mom catch me and so on. The moment. I put foot out of my house to take a nap for but to go out there and start vlogs, to start the videos. I know the police are for me and come in and go out there and they send out a bench warrant for me. I reach out the hotel, I start video the hotel, I live, I just start doing my thing. I just never care. You know them way they and walk behind you either, but we are going to walk in case you run or anything that close. We are going to go downstairs and you are going to go around the back. I have going at the blue care, I'm gonna do it nice and easy. If you refuse, then we have to go just embarrass you and all and pull you and mangle you and all sort of things. So, you know, I follow the rules and I do the thing, the man. I <laughs> go around at the back and some people have to make arm back if they do. Go around at the back and go in at the car and do as if say. When I reach now in care, my God, this, the policeman in care, my friend at this station, I fall my name. Chalk, chalk stone, and some from my police station, my boy, yeah. Then they don't want to lock up my friend, and I can tell them, my friend, I have no one to do with my case. I just hotel my boy, and bring her around so she have no one. They search down her phone right through, because I'm charged by cyber crime. And they search my phone, they ask me every, if they ask me what kind of transaction they make, make everything. You know, them go on with themselves. Them let her go. She go alone by herself, and they carry me. I'm still there at the station. Then I remember on the police station come for me and carry me to Bridgeport. When they carry me to Bridgeport now, they have me over there. When I go to Bridgeport, I spend one night at Bridgeport. The next day, I end up go court. When I go to court now, they say I never have this paper. They say, I tell them everything, you know, they say I never have this paper. A bench warrant paper, because when I did at the station the night, they give me the paper. But so we have it in my bag, you know, I got a quote, I don't remember to the people I'm supposed to give the judge or give a police to go up to the judge or whatever, so I never remember no more. So my daddy and I go up there, they must say I'm supposed to have one paper or with the bench for one paper, for like a show proof, say, yeah, I'm supposed to skip bail and whatever. But never have it for sure, and them say I can't go back to the judge because I get late, so I have to go, go back over the prince, over the station and come back. When now, my daddy and I, when when my daddy downstairs now, I realize I'm gonna have the paper. So I show the policeman and say, not the paper you not talk about. So I say it's too late, but I'm still gonna try to see if I can see the judge to see what she gonna do. She gonna give me some bail or she'll bring me by the bit of prison come by station and either what she gonna do. Anyways, my dumb they know and I meet this girl in the cell. I'm not gonna call her name because I don't want to be charged again. So I meet this girl in the cell, she had tell me that she come from over the prison. 
You see the judge already about the remand her back and everything. But remember me the end up me go over the prison already. It's not the first time I've been. It's not my it's um I went over the prison already. The reason being for this same case that that I was on the cyber crime. The first time I get locked up, them they charge me, grant my bail, but because something did wrong for my paper, I did end up to go over the prison go see. So I did no experience over there already and no over there already. You understand? So I know the tricks and I know the trade and I know everything about the prison. So when my dog I did have I didn't have forty thousand dollar for me. I did have forty thousand dollar for me to pay my lawyer. I never have a lawyer, but I say, but I go court, I just get a lawyer so they can represent me. You understand? So me and this girl down there and I talk to this girl and whatever and she said she know me. I don't know her but she said she know me and whatever. And she had tell me she did over the prison when me did over when me did come over there and whatever. I don't believe her and thing, but me know the tricks and trades for the prison. You can't have no money over there. You can't spend no money over there. Like it's illegal. You can't make officers stay with money, but you know you can't hide and have money saved. You can buy weed. You can't have money and buy any little thing, the trafficking thing, or uh, whatever. So me had said to her, said, all right. I don't really want to carry my money and hand it to the officer. Then. You understand? Because why do I want to buy a little weed or buy a little nothing over there? I can't go out with something. I want them to have the whole money. I'm not going to push up the money in the budget. So I said to her, I said, if she can't care about the money, because I know that I'm not going to go over the prison. I'm going to bench for her. And when I go bench for her, people, you don't go home. They're not going to put you at risk to give you a bail again. Pay up, run off again. The man is either the man tell you to pay a fine or you get a road sentence or something like that. So, me didn't know that end up me have to go over the prison. So, you know, I me give the girl my forty thousand dollar and tell her, say, you see, if Kayla, my friend named Kayla, they get locked up because Kayla get locked up before me and Kayla did the court that day then. But, me never trust Kayla to give me money because I know Kayla is a little thief, she can't be trusted. So, me never trust her to give me money. So, I said to her, I said, all right then. When you go over the prison, you want girl in sky my money to keep I'm a no sky, I'm a trust sky, so give sky my money to keep. So she said, alright. And she told me not she get remand for two and I know her date and everything when she gets set up and a very long remand. The girl, when I give my money. You know, so I give the girl my money and the girl end up go over the prison. When I come downstairs now, the other female them I tell me say, I should give the girl my money. Cause she a thief and that she charge for thief phone. And thief money, I start fret now. Come here, see, I'm only 40,000 dollars. I have to pay my lawyer. I'm start fret and I start. But knowing me, I have a lot of police friends. I have a whole lot of friends. All the people will love me, people will rape me. So I talk to this police lady, and I tell the police lady what I she said. That's rich because I took a knife. Why never just hold on to the money? And, and when you go over the prison, you give the officer them. Since you say, I have to pay your lawyer. I mean, I said, John was sorry. Anyways, the police lady did have links over the prison to this police to one of the female officer them. We work at the front desk. We them we work at the front desk. We like at the officer they search you before you go in to see if you have a contraband for you. Anyway, the police lady called the up the in the officer we work over the prison to tell Nikki say listen. We have that McCall already. To tell the girl say listen. Just give officer the money. Just take a five girl out of the money and give officer my money because I'm money. my money to pay my lawyer and I really need it. And based upon all of me and here, me and start, me, me start fret, you see me, me start fret because I said, John, don't start the big prison. I have to go back, back at the station. Go back over the station now thinking that they're going to end up for court the next day. One week I come, I'm still there at the station. Two weeks I come, I'm still there at the station. The police can come. And them say, after certain hours, they're supposed to be free if police don't come charge you. But that may be different because I skip me, skip me, so you know, so I can't do it for long. Then, 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 I start crying, I start crying, I start fretting, I say, I don't have my phone for call her. And I like illegal, I can't stay from a police station as we always were in a custody for call over the prison. Who they at the station, I have no link to who they over the prison. Start fretting on me, I say, I want that girl to spend my money. I start about every day, me I think about it. I say, I have to pay my lawyer. And I come here, I say, if me need to keep my money, we could have beg one of the policemen to get a lawyer for me. And the lawyer would have come see me at Bridgeport. And probably when I get an early court date, I would have a lawyer to represent me. 
But then, 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 after the two weeks come now, back my girl court, then my man in custody again, so you know, then the judge had me to go over the bigger prison. Go over the bigger prison now, lucky enough when I go over the bigger prison now, as I enter the prison, as she that must stick her, she, she didn't want to fight, I heard of something, and the, the sofa did not care, I got dark hole, I have this place named dark hole. When you fight, they put you at this punishing block. Out of the population, you can't see none of your inmate them. You, you just lock them. So she did move it her mattress and everything. I'm saying, Nikki, where's my money there? So I'm saying, Nikki, where's my money there? She said, Quick, yeah, quick, yeah. Me and I'm money for you, me and I'm money for you. So I right, then, I said nothing to her. So I'm going to go to the super. I'm going to go to the super now. The super call her and tell her, I said, any of my guy want to get back her money, well, okay, I got a right. Because a right is so supposed to be by right. Who's awaiting trial? When I get sentenced, you're supposed to be a right. And the who get sentenced, is supposed to be at the big prison where we, where we normally did. Where I normally did. Anyways, cut long story short, I get back my money and all of that. And when it comes to the task now, my daddy and my girl, after December, I'm supposed to go to court in January. When I go to court January now, she remind me back until March 3rd. Start crying now, start crying, start feeling depressed, and start feeling stressful. I said, January start. When I have to tell her I'm in custody. When March 3rd come now, you know, I have to wait all long. When March 3rd come now, I go to court. Corona come, I can't go to court. I start crying, I start. I can't go to court. Corona come. All these girls dead over the prison. Um, COVID come and kill her, the prison just be traumatized. Me just feel depressed, me just feel hopeless, me don't know what to do. Me don't have no phone over there. Them all the ones get called for call your mother. Thank God for the one and two good officers. Them. You know, some officer will hug you up, some officer will talk to you, some officer will just sit down and hold some serious talk. You know, them officer they will just make you feel like you're the home same way. Sometimes I feel like I'm the home same way. Sometimes I feel like I have freedom to me. It depends on how some of the officers them treat you. While some of them treat you like dog shit. Trust me. Some of the officers them treat you real bad. They act like they want back me. Huh? They very disrespectful. They tell you that make you do you make you come here. And then and, and they make you come here. So if you never want there, you should do it. You don't be there. They just nagging them. Remember this officer tear my clothes off of my life. With their check muster. You have a thing named muster. When you check muster, Everybody, them check for notes of everybody in the dam and then them cage you up like that and put on padlock and lock with. Normally, you're not supposed to leave your clothes on the line when most start check when you go in. Like after 4 o'clock, when I lock down time, when you know, say, and I come back out till the morning. So, I said, Mom, I'm going to take out my clothes. She said, No, I must start check my key and go out there. But I did see the sofa, which are the bigger head. So, I asked if I can go take out my clothes. They said, Yes. Then they leave. So, when I go out there, you know, she like, she arm and put me some flash her off. And I run now, forgot to cut my clothes, and the woman jog me, tear my clothes off of me. And I now forget some of the man. Some man did come to fix the, the bathroom, because the bathroom did broke down everything, and the man come. And the lady tear my clothes off of me, and the whole of the man did come to fix the bathroom, and I feel like I'm naked. And I tell you, I feel like I'm with them people. You see, no matter who you be when you go to prison, it's like there's nobody. You could have been the richest person, the famous person. You I mean, you could have been, you, you could have been a billionaire, chillionaire, you could have out there in a row. When you go to prison, they treat you like there's nobody. Some of the, some of the officers did. And the inmate, them themselves, them treat you like that. Them bad men, them, them just not have nothing about them. And eat over the bad, 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 bad. And I still not talk nothing bad, because at the end of the day, you know where I live in a reality. Anything you can make, you end up back over there, right? So anyways, I didn't know when the lady tear up my clothes, whatever, whatever, tear up my clothes off of me. Feels so embarrassing. And I tell you, sir, boy, I just show my fans to make me make that video. Because it was for me, I would even make it. Because I don't even like think back on them something. Anyways, I start feel depressed and them little things there. And every day I cry and I wonder if I go ever come out and them things there. Meet this girl named Fiona. <laughs> Fiona. Meet this girl named Fiona. Oh my God, Fiona was always by my side. She always uh, motivated me. She always uh, tell me say, do the right thing. She was a mixed up. Come used to always in a mixed up. I always a cut and everything. She's you know she's just she was my best friend. 
over the pretty woman. I said, best friend, she was my best friend. From a different romance, from January till March, Fiona was always my best friend. Fiona is a lesbian, no? And then little thing, I had to tell you that because I'm gonna come with something now. Anyways, March come now, COVID come locked down, can't go nowhere. After March, April, we still can't go to court. In a May now, when we forgot court, the judge catch COVID, we still can't end up with court. So you know what I mean? I said, they oh, all long, same way. I know, yes, I start get close to feel. Uh, the girl, I'm in her church with Kayla, I'm in her have couple, couple um, breakouts. Come tell us she lying on so me and I was a cuss. Me and I fight one time over there. We go through a lot. I mean, I know if you don't know the gang of five them when they beat the little girl when you kill and one of them did attack me over there. Like me and her and a talk. We used to, we normally be friends. One of the girls and we normally friends and me and her fall out and she just pick for me. I don't know if I choose, she just tick and she mighty. She always a pick for me and I always be there going hold my own. You know, she cuss me, cuss her, but I'm not going to let nobody lick me. I'm not going to cuss her, she bounce me. And I yeah, walk down and I cuss her, I say, Kayla, you know, say them girl, I'm not talk about my friend Kayla. I say, Kayla, you know, say them girl, I really want me to get myself in a trouble and like them want me to stay. I'm afraid to fight, you know. I'm afraid to fight and stab a girl and I will get sentenced over there. And I say, boy, I keep myself out of trouble. You know, say, and my friend, I tell what I'm saying, the girl bounce me, you know, say, that's why I tell you, so you see the girl lift from way up our top cell and come down on the bottom cell and use one iron. So I have a wig still because I have a scar. I have a scar on my head. See me. She used one iron and she licked me on my head with the iron. Lick me. I don't really want iron iron thing. It's like one of a board thing. You know how we always use it. We have a board thing and we put up a shelf and look a flat board. She used it and she licked me and it hit me. I mean, I think she normally eat me from my head, but she licked off of me and it licked me on my head because my head did. Every time a girl licked me first and girl threw juice in my face. Girl threw juice in my face. Nothing no come out of it. Girl licked me on my head. with bored. Nothing no come out of it. You see, officer licked me with button already. Nothing no come out of it. You see, some people have cussed some officer. And when they cuss them, they nah lick them in the But I don't know if for me, it then just have one pick for me every time I talk about it. I just get mad because I just know say a girl just throw juice in your face and you're afraid for your fighter because when you look, they might care you got punishment. But remember them fighting with one phone. Busy people fight and they care them got dark hole and they come back up in less than one week. I'm missing me a cussable phone. Cause I did have one phone and one girl say she now make me she now put me on the charge the charge. I me a cussar and I go to the office and I say if me not charge, she not charge cause for illegal. I miss they tell me who you got that call and then have me a dark call two months. Two months for just cuss for one phone. Missing my daddy and the soup and I like me none tad. I tell you, if I'm for the sake of this girl, when you feel that I'm going to go home with a coke in a prison, like when I break down, and she, I forgot to. And it just hurts me, no, say, I got prison, and I ex experienced some bad things, and my life, some things were happening in a prison, I never want to happen, like I end up turning lesbian. Like this girl. And if you watch her, just the truth, you know, I love you. I'm just going to make my vlog video for talk, right? Remember now, Fio, one time Fiona come to me and say, Vanny, I'm free me, come here, tell her, I love her, and I'm a best friend. And she come to me and say, Vanny, I'm free me, and I say, Free you out. And she said, You like me, them way, them? I said, No, I don't like you. I just like you as a friend, because I'm a best friend, and I'm here, I'm close, I'm here, I'm last, I'm going to take it, I'm going to give her. And I know I said, after she, from she asked me that question, they like me think about it deep and I just start end up like the girl. I don't know, me don't know what happened, I just end up start like her. It's so come, me yeah, and her talk. Me yeah, and her start talk and everybody start lose respect for me. Some officers that did like me start lose respect for me. You know what I mean? Because they must say, you always say you're not going to be lesbian and you turn out to be lesbian. I know something I did once, I regret it every single day because you know, I just never want to go to something to myself in a prison. I kiss girl. I kiss myself. 
I have sex with girl. I start disrespect, be an officer. I just start be rude. Sometimes I tell them I wonder if I ever, ever come out. I wonder if I ever get sentenced. Sometimes I tell them I say, Janus, I wonder how much years I ever get. But then the judge look at me like that. Two years. I wonder, why never ever see my mommy again? You know, look at every woman love so much. I never ever see him again. Sometimes I tell them, my mother say, why, 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 why does something up here reach me? You know them weird, I we just one at a time. I lose hope. I remember one time, you know, I waited everybody at sleep. That's why I said, if you see depression, is an elevator. I remember one time, I waited everybody at sleep, and I take my sheets off, and I bed, and I tie it up. Tie it up in my cell. Because all the cells stay, you can draw the curtain, and you can draw the curtain, and you have your grill, you drop your grill, and you lock your grill. Remember one time, I took up one sheet. Tie it up on the wall and I stand up on my bucket and I just have pretty big evil and I say, I'm not going to hang yourself. And then I think about it and I say, why hang yourself? You hang yourself today. You know, people ball today, tomorrow, they're happy again. I hang yourself and then I start thinking about my little nephew who I love so much. And I say, oh, my little nephew would have cope for no same antibiotics. Or oh, my niece would have cope. Or oh, my mother would have cope. Or oh, my friends would have cope. Oh, some people were motivated with a cope, you know, they make a way there. And I say, you know, I'm not going to do this, at the end of the day, if I do get sentenced, there's a date set for me to so go to my yard. There's a date set for me to go to my yard. I remember Kayla come in there and catch me with this. <laughs> Kayla come and catch me and Kayla start crying. Kayla said, vomit, oh, sweet, oh, sweet, and da 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 you know, because uh, me and her did charge for people and phone, and uh, it was my idea. And uh, me, I make sure get locked up. I remember one time I kissed her, I cut up her head, you know. She had cut up her head, and she had to show her dead. And the way she had cut up her head, she had cut up her head, and really bad, she had to do it through. She had to do it fast, she had to cut up her head. And she said, I said, Kayla, we know how to do it. Why you cut up your head? And she had to say, no, I live no more, she had to come on. I don't like it, Dad, and I said, wow. She had cut up her arm, wicked enough. You know what, Kayla, and Kayla cut up her arm. She said, why, I'm going to stop crying, I said. I said, it was my idea, and if I never for me, she would be there, I said, in a prison. I remember one single time I cried, I cried every single day in a prison. Some things that my experience, some things that my face. So I tell the boy, God is good all the time. If I never for God, because I got beat, you know. If I never for God, when she stands by my side, I tell me, say, this is not the end where I do a foolishness. You know, they look away the like, like, you know, if you go to a party and your mother said, don't go. And yourself, I tell yourself, go. In the good way, your mother, you're coming like your mother had a God. Had a, obey your mother and your father so that you, your days may be longer and dearer. And in my head, it's a term that says, kill yourself, kill yourself. And from the other side, it's a term, no, no. You know what I'm saying? And how oh, I cope with it, I just, how oh, I always cope with, no, so I never come out. And even if I don't come out, I fret myself. You have a lot of people there where, um, they depend them 35 to life, or they depend them 25 to life, and them we just always I say, look for them people here. Them get to life, and them charge of murder. Me not charge of murder. Me not charge for gun. Them not find me guilty. Me plea guilty for a cyber crime. The lady will charge me now come a court. So me have a good way to prepare for your fight. Me just always I tell myself that me always I pray. I just always, you know, I'm just, why am I to the start? And it just, it was just a rough journey over there. It just rough. It just over there. You lock up, you can't see the road unless you go upon um, escort to go doctor, hospital, like something really dear. They repeat, them cook, I'm not gonna lie, them cook nice foods over there. But Sunday, I get fried chicken, 
they get chicken, they get mango juice, <laughs> they get mango juice, they get pudding, you know, they get sometimes, like for all Mother's Day and then the good special day, they them give present. As I say, you have one or two officers that treat you good over there and support like that. I miss when I come home, I miss me just have a cut that video yeah, sure, because we just really get emotional. I miss my friends them over there, like me have two good friends, me have Fiona, me have Khadija, I miss them. And for just you know say the crime with them do, them not really ever see road for now. Yeah, they might see road but not for now. So it just really pain my heart. And as I said, I cut the video short. This was not planned. Never was breakdown. I just did want this be a more video of a more motivating to ya. But as I said, I really get breakdown. So I just kind of want to cut the video now. But I just want to know if the prison, prison is for dark. Because you have a lot of good people in there. People where, as I said, rich people. Educational people, you have a lot of good people in there, so prison will make it dark. But when you just keep out of trouble, nobody will do nothing for God's prison. Because I'm telling you, maybe someone will not be able to can cope the way of me cope. Someone will probably not gonna be able to can go through it like how me go through it. And everybody can manage stress, and everybody can manage depression, and everybody can manage with me. Money. Some people have been killing themselves already. And but 